if you turn your attention to the International Junior Holstein Show Ring, Judge Turner has completed his placings in our Summer Yearling Heifer class. We'd like to acknowledge the genetic award winner in the class, entry number 456, Riverbridge Brokaw Truffle, exhibited by Colton and McKenna Coffeen and Braylon Ott of De Pere, Wisconsin. Placing third in the class is entry number 448, East River Gold Deb 321, exhibited by Brianne Reed and Brooklyn Vandosky and Jess Mulek of Cleveland, Wisconsin. Second in the class and also winning the Junior Bread Known Award is entry 459, Black Rock Dorman Deb, exhibited by Alec Kruger of De Pere, Wisconsin. And winning the class is entry number 470, Heart and Soul, Sammy Rickey, exhibited by Matthew Boop of Millmont, Pennsylvania. Congratulations. Roger, your thoughts on the class? Thanks, Kathleen. Again, uh, Kelly and I feel there's really a lot of quality and depth and balance all the way down through here. A little different makes and models at the top end to sort out, but uh, really comfortable with the heifer we win the class with. On that balance, a heifer that is not the largest heifer in the class, but certainly got the quality. Heifer that just has that beautiful angularity to her rib structure. She carries that out through a straight top. And it is that straightness to her top line today, a little harder in through her back today than the heifer in second. It's also a little cleaner up in through her head and her neck and her brisket. Also just a nickel cleaner down through her thigh than is the uh, very similar made heifer that follows into second. Second over third, a heifer for us that just uses that uh, cleanliness in through the bone of her hock today. A little bit uh, more length of neck, a little sharper right at her point of withers. Just moving a little nicer on her hind legs in this tremendous framed heifer in uh, third. Really love the frame on this heifer in third. It's that openness to her cage, that drop to both her fore and rear rib, that width to her pins, that beautiful width to her chest that she has overall. And as she uses those total advantages in that midsection, that openness, that angularity, that cage and frame that she has uh, in that third heifer over the heifer following in fourth. Certainly a side profile striking heifer in fourth, and we moved her up in the class with that straightness to her lines, that uh, a little taller heifer that uh, needed to move up in the class, and she did so into fourth, and she uses that quality, that length overall, and certainly more comfortable and a little nicer set to her hind legs today than is the heifer following in fifth. Fifth over six, a heifer for us, it just uh, has that added advantage, just being a little sharper at her point of withers, a little cleaner all the way through, just showing us that angularity and that drop to the fore and rear rib than is the uh, well-made heifer following in six. A heifer following in six to tail off here, I think it's just a heifer that has that frame, that straightness aligns to fit into the top group of a great uh, class of heifers. Congratulations.